Good evening. The Cobra Kids. Cold War Kids started in summertime of 2004. Nathan and Johnny approached me and said, do you want to play bass with our band? I said, sure. I kind of started pulling different guys together to see who could play what. We kind of put this band together and we didn't really have like roles where one of us wrote all the songs. It just kind of like was all osmosis, listening to music, writing music, performing. It, it was very casual. And at the same time, like we had a real aesthetic that we knew we were looking for. We wanted to emulate like a lot of vintage sounds, vintage gear and bands and artists that, you know, most of which came way, way, way before us. In recording, we were around people that I think really were very precious about the hardware they were using and, and that it was authentic and that it was, you know, had this great warmth and great quality. When you first heard Robbers and Cowards on vinyl, that was like, oh, we made it. It was like a dream come true. That warmth and the, the holding of the object and the sonically, the warmth of a record is like nothing else. Record one approach to, to now, 2020 record eight or nine approach, is really changed a lot. I mean, you know, we sort of, it, we opened up a lot. We tried more effects, more synthesizers, more guitar pedals. You know, we just wanted to, to be more loose with it. So New Age Norms, the concept was kind of like, let's make a trilogy, let's make these three records that have eight songs each that are very much like statements unto themselves. New Age Norms 2 is the closest method, style, way, whatever, whatever you want to call it, to Robbers and Cowards. And we literally hit the reset button with New Age Norms 2. This record we made with a full band, all five of us in the room, um, and we've had some lineup changes over the years. The current five of us had never all worked together writing and, and just kind of riffing and being creative together. It is the most fun way to work and the kind of the most chaotic way to work, and I love that approach, and it was very much time for us to, I think, take the hands off the steering wheel. The fine art ideal way to experience our band is a live setting and so I think the next best thing is listening to it on vinyl at home really with good speakers, a great Technics record player. That's the highest honor that a band like us could receive from our fans. As the evolution happens towards, you know, away from listening to music at home in front of your the best sounding home stereo, I love that Technics making these wireless buds that are you know, have a more of emphasis on the hi-fi. Like, it's exciting, it's all progress. As the technology improves, it's like techniques, there's, there's people that are always going to rise to the way that the consumer is, is changing. So artists shouldn't worry about that. They should keep doing their thing and know that like the, the audio quality is gonna be lifted by the technology and the people that are always pushing the boundaries.